When the government issued an urgent call to industry players to venture into manufacture of ventilators, a sizable number of companies offered to help. But now it appears that Kenya's first locally made life support machine might be delivered by students of Kenyatta University and Oxycolia with more. <laughs> The simulation of how a ventilator pumps air into the lungs of a patient. But this is not a hospital environment. It's an innovation room at Kenyatta University's Chandaria Business Innovation and Incubation Center. Fidel Mugatia and 15 other students of Kenyatta University are prototyping a locally made ventilator to aid the fight against the fast spreading coronavirus. This machine we have made is able to regulate the percentage of oxygen air that goes to the, um, the patient. So able to set between 20%, which is the 21%, that is the normal air we breathe, up to 100% depending on the condition of uh, failure. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness that affects the lungs of a patient and in severe respiratory cases, oxygen levels in his or her blood may drop too low or the carbon dioxide levels may rise too high. Either of these conditions results in damaged vital organs, including the heart and brain. Global statistics indicate that the new coronavirus has left a sizable number of patients needing additional or breathing support through chemical ventilation. In simple terms, this equipment take over the pumping role of the lung, delivering oxygenated air direct to the breathing organs. Make sure that it's portable. This one is very portable. Uh, you, can, it's, uh, you can plug even a battery if you don't have reliable power. Just plug a battery and it will run. Uh, you can interface with this, any screen. So you don't require it to come with a screen. Usually what makes these other ventilators expensive is usually the big screens. So this one, as long as even you have a TV monitor, you can just, just plug it in using a cable. So that one makes ours like uh, more uh, flexible or uh, portable. But with COVID-19 spreading like bushfire, projections have shown that Kenya has a shortage and may require more ventilators if the global trend is anything to go by. The government has already issued an urgent call to industry for thousands of hospital ventilators. Significant deliveries from the farms are still far away, and some county governments have resorted to foreign imports and donations to double their ventilator count. Kenyatta University says it has the capacity to produce 50 ventilators per week if its prototype will be given a node. All the materials that are being used are materials that can be provided right here and therefore we don't need a lot of uh, uh, money. On Monday you should also be able to do a second demonstration to the medical, uh, the, 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 the medical authorities that are competent in approving the necessary equipment. The first step in ventilation is called intubation. Once a patient is asleep, a doctor uses a machine called a laryngoscope to perform the intubation. It helps guide the endotrachea into its proper position. Once it's in the trachea, the doctor inflates a small balloon surrounding the tube to make sure it remains smoothly in place. The laryngoscope is then removed and the tube is stepped around the mouth to prevent it from being jostled out of position. Once in a proper position, the endotrachea tube is then attached to the mechanical ventilator a specially designed pump that delivers well oxygenated air into the lungs and permitting carbon dioxide to escape. We are very sure it, it's, it's work because we've tested it, uh, rigorously tested it for all the parameters that are required. It's now up to the medical experts from the Ministry of Health to ascertain the viability of KU's prototype and flag the production chain. Anoxicolia, Citizen TV.